Hello guys, my name is Mihai Lupu and I would like to share my scoop tool that I use uh, for some time in 3ds Max for simple tasks, for simple edits. I wrote this, uh, this tool because I like to stay and work in uh, 3ds Max and to avoid the uh, import export extra work uh, between 3ds Max and other applications like uh, ZBrush. Um, in the last period of time I posted screenshots and few videos regarding this tool and I found that the 3ds Max community is very interested in it so I decided to make this tool available to everyone. In this tool I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to scold, so sorry. I'll just try to be brief and try to explain how this tool works. Okay. So the very first uh, part of the tool is the remesher. It's very straightforward what uh, this button will do. Um, please study the tool tips for uh, every button. So you'll see the combination of the keyboard and the clicks, mouse clicks. Uh, you can do boolean operations. Uh, union, sub subtract and intersection depends on what uh, do you need. It is very fast and uh, it will keep uh, the, the topology. Let me do a few examples. So for instance, if we have those uh, meshes selected and I, I, I would like to do a uh, union operation. I just press shift and click and voila, I have a, a union operation here. Uh, you can also start to smooth it out. Uh, you can also, uh, let's do a subtraction, something like this and alt and click and I have a subtraction here so something like this uh, for instance uh, I use a lot smoothing groups and materials ID so you can find them here um, I have a preview material ID you just drop random IDs and colors just to visualize a little bit uh, better where it's uh, your your IDs on the on the object so for instance I would like to let's say select this part and I, and I click uh, control and click I have a new material ID here uh, I will select another one, another area here, and I'll do the same. And now there is slight difference here, but there is a material ID. So now we have three IDs, one, the second, and the third. So if I want to select the last ID that uh, I created, I just select the poly. Uh, a face, a poly face, and just click on the select button, and then now I have the entire ID selected. Or if I want to select two materials ID, I just select a face from uh, the second one, and I just click here, and now I have uh, uh, the selection. What you can do with uh, this selection. It's very nice if you have the Relax Pro modifier. It's not uh, coming with this tool. Uh, you have to buy separately if you want. In my opinion, it's the best Relax modifier on the market, so I suggest you to use it if you want. It's not mapped here in the tooltip, but with Alt. So if I select this part here um, with Alt and click. I have this Relax Pro modifier and uh, everything is a tab by script. So the only thing you can do is if you want to smooth uh, the border 
more than it is we can do it like this just raise the value or lower and uh, base it on this materials ID um, the retopo very measure will do the job so now you have nice topology around this ID uh, another example let me delete this um, another example is let's create a sphere I will um, add the turbo smooth and uh, let's select some faces around here add the uh, material ID another one here uh, maybe another one here something like this okay so now we have three materials so let's select or select them all alt and now remeshed so you start to have yeah maybe something like this you start to have a better uh, topology for your low poly object for the when you start to sculpt okay so now for instance if I want to select this I can move it so let's see this is the brush from the from the ribbon tools but um, they are tweaked so for instance you cannot use the smoothing uh, based on the face selection it will smooth the entire object so with this tool you can use this uh, this stuff something like this as you can see it, it will not move any vertex position from the object only from the selection so yeah uh, another um, let me add this one on zero uh, with middle click uh, we can it retopo let me rotate a little bit because it was on the other axis uh, it will uh, retop all with symmetry so something like this um, you can add curved uh, tubes so for instance uh, let's make it uh, around here or if you want to use in mirror mode you can do it so you have to select the sphere uh, you can do something like this so in mirror mode on it will add topology here in the object or uh, you can do something like this with control press it you can go out of and when, when you are done you have to right click to confirm the um, the, um, the curve tube so now I will select all and with shift and let's raise a little bit the poly count here and with shift and click now I have an, a single object so with union <coughs> and uh, of course still if it's still in mirror I can do I don't know 
small horns like this. I don't know <laughs> what are those. Of course, the materials ID or smoothing rules, I use it for UVs, so you can uh, use this option as well. Uh, the paint. Will, uh, will work in mirror as well. Let's try on a higher sphere, higher poly count, maybe, I don't know how many. So two millions uh, polygons. So let's try to Cannot find my pen. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's try to sculpt a little bit just to see the. Oh, I have to stop the rendering. So the sculpt is here. Maybe. The intensity with alt will do in inward and uh, just drag your pen or tablet to bring the vertices outer. Okay, with the shift you can smooth. Um, you can also create some kind of mask like you do in ZBrush or uh, any other applic sculpt application. So if I want to flatten this part here, I'll do a bigger, a bigger brush. I just flatten. Okay, so let's see. So this is the flatten area. Um, of course, with uh, con control and shift. You can change the size of the brush anytime. Something like this. Um, and as you can see, the performance is quite good. I didn't expect to be so, so good but for, some, for this poly count. Uh, this one is the curve brush. So. Let's see something like this, maybe a little bit strong, maybe even stronger. More, let's see. So this is the curved brush. This is the um, The, um, the knife tool, it's kind of Damien standard from uh, ZBrush. So holding Alt, you can uh, have something like this. Um, with clay, the clay brush, I found these valids a little bit stronger, so maybe, yeah, still stronger. So you can uh, play it with this. Uh, maybe you can make it quite low 
like 0 0.05 and add an edited mode so this will add on on top so you'll get a texture something like this oh yeah it's a uh, I think I cover all the oh I forgot uh, the slice sorry um, so the slice let's try on a new sphere uh, if you want to add a new object to sculpt let's say if you, you want to be like this right click to confirm and uh, you can uh, start to to brush it right away because it's edible poly uh, so we're gonna need the slice uh, it's quite straightforward select the object go in slice mode drag right click and you will have two piece of slice so let's remesh uh, it's quite high so let's make it Okay, something like this you see the lower the polygon count is the more performance you have the more speed um, if you have um, a custom uh, I don't know let's make it this but so if you have a, a slice like this 